Hello everyone, welcome back to Danganronpa V3 and this boy right here. Checkers. You know, I, I get what you're saying, but I also don't like it because that means the whole thing that we did before was almost pointless. But not really, because we had to figure out who did what and get to the bottom of some things. But now, I think we're going to start getting into the thick of it. Now, I don't know how long this is going to be. As you guys know, I'm still recovering. I'm gonna go as long as I possibly can. I know that the last time I managed to go an hour, that might not happen every time. It's just gonna depend. Tokichi sort of sound like Monokuma. I agree. And we we know that he was kind of kind of talking with him a little bit earlier. I, nobody else saw that except us, I'm pretty sure. Us being the player, not any of the characters. Hmm? Really? I don't sound anything like him. Well, in, in, uh, not in the voice, but in the alliterations there is what he's talking about. No, you're just like Monokuma. <laughs> Hank Hill ass all the way. Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or show your true face. That could be true. We're not really sure what to think of Kokichi still. We don't know if he's telling the truth. I, <laughs> half the time I'm gonna say no, he's not. Wait, coward? You say some interesting things sometimes, Kaito. Well, step up. Tell him he's wrong. Explain it. Smiling, putting on a mask, never saying what you really think. I'd, I'd agree with some of that. That kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma. Also, can, but also don't forget the Hank Hill ass, too. Daddy, they're calling you a coward. Aren't you going to do something? No, he's probably asleep. Yeah, yeah, I just gotta do my signature laugh, right? It, well, what's wrong with him today? <laughs> there, I get it. That laugh is like the meme for two, two, for 2020. That's the 2020 laugh. <laughs> He's completely lost his drive. Oh no! Like a one-hit wonder <clears throat> who clings to their former fame. Oh dear. <laughs> Aw, oh, th this whole bear family's falling apart a little bit. Listen up, Kokichi! Uh-oh, Kaito, what are you gonna say? To hell with this game of suspicion crap! I will never be okay with it! Okay. I'm just gonna believe in everyone! Do it! Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them! That could work, I hope. I really hope. Well, if you think you can win this game like that... Then sure, be my guest. Okay, we will, checkers. Of course I can. I don't need your permission. That's also true. How long are you guys going to argue? Also true. Let's hurry this up and continue. Thank you, Maki, for bringing it back. If we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die. You know that? Well, yeah, that's kind of the most important thing right now. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's definitely why. If we are going to begin searching for the culprit, let's start with Kokichi's story. Okay. Huh? My story? Well, I mean, we were talking about it in the last one, weren't we? You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. Which makes him a very big suspect, yes. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? Right. Here's my answer. I never met up with Mio. Is that true? I mean, I, I have to probably agree. Mm -hmm. You didn't? Because wouldn't it have happened if they had? I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. Right? But isn't lock picking your specialty? Oh. You should have been able to open it easy. Would he have had the tools in the virtual world to do it? I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. Oh, there you go. I didn't have the tools for it either. Yeah, okay, I do agree with that. Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. So he's never been up there, period. I remember you and Gonta went off together when we first started looking. That's right. It was kind of secretive as well. But was the door to the roof actually locked? Uh, was it? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Right. Huh? How should I know? Okay, but, but truly. <laughs> then who locked the door to the roof? Who did lock it? I already told you. How should I know? Um, I can't tell if he's, I can't tell if he's being sarcastic. What? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked. So you gotta be lying. Is there a way that it could have been locked? Not that I really want to believe him, but for him to go like this. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know. Are you sure about that? Because sometimes I'm just not sure about you. Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. Also true. 
Oh, now you got nothing to say? Oh, mm-hmm, I see. <laughs> this troll. I didn't realize that. Uh-huh. What kind of response is that? I don't, That's I don't. suspicious as hell. I don't even know anymore. Wait, there's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. I think so, too. I mean, if we look at everything like we have been, surely we'll figure it out. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. I think that will also help, because we have no idea what's going on with that. Truth? Yeah, yeah. There were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. There were. We need to make sense of those first. Okay, so let's do it, and then maybe we can figure out well, who did it. Well, Shuichi, you know your way around this game. Oh, that sounds weirdly gross, and I hope you never say that again. Yes, keep up the hard work. The fate of our lives rests in your hands. Oh, Shuichi, don't even, don't even listen. So, to what is this strange circumstance? Well, there's a couple, aren't there? Kokichi claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. Right. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. Okay. I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. That's right. We saw that. We saw that happening. Oh, uh, whoops. My hand fucking slipped. If that's the case, then Mew might not have even gone to the roof. Hmm. But she planned for the meeting, so why wouldn't she go? Huh? So she stood me up? It's very rude to break a promise. <laughs> Your face is rude. It's true. First we need to determine if Mio was actually there or not. Did she go? Or was she never on the roof at all? God, you know what? I'm not even sure. Alright, what are we debating? What do we have? Um... Wait a Mew minute. Waiting for Excuse me. Samugi's account, what was it again? While Samugi was searching for the secret of the outside world in the virtual world, she saw Mew's avatar through the window. Oh, right, so she did see her around our area, even though she was supposed to be over by the church. I'm gonna go ahead and say we that might arrive. be what we want. Let's I'm look sure and see. she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. Okay. No, Mew should have been at the chapel. That is true. Look at where her avatar fell. Okay. It's right next to the chapel. It is. How would she have gotten to the mansion? Mm. There was no bridge over the river. This is probably where we're going to get into a the secret would be way. The only way to get across. That we that we so that we figured out before. With Kokichi, she stood me up. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh god, laughing hurts. Okay. At first glance, it seems that it's impossible for me to go to the mansion. But if we believe Sumugi, then she was there. But there has to be some evidence that shows it was possible. All right, let's. Mew was waiting for me to arrive. Let's do what I think we need to do here. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. I'm gonna say no. the chapel. This. Chapel. That's wrong. So she actually wasn't there. Break. But what does it mean? Mew must have gone to the mansion. We have a witness. Do we believe our witness? I hope so. Yeah. When I was searching the dining room. I saw Mew pass by the window. Okay. Uh, then why didn't you say so sooner? I mean that yes. <laughs> Probably should have done that. Sorry. I thought I was just mistaken at first. Well, why did you think you were mistaken though? Since there was no way she could have come to the mansion. There's only really one person that looks like her. You really can't mistake somebody that looks like Mew. But I guess I wasn't mistaken after all. That was definitely Mew. Okay. Then, how did she get to the mansion from the chapel? This is it here. This is probably where we're going to speak about how she had admin properties and, like, could go and pass between. Because I still think that she made it so the world loops and she could pass through. There must have been some special method only Mew knew. Yep. Like with that cell phone. I think so. There's no doubt about that. That's why she dropped the bridge. Right, to keep everybody else in place so she knew where they were. If a murder occurred when it was impossible to cross the river, she wouldn't be implicated. Right, and nobody knew that she could walk around freely. She used a secret method to move from the chapel to the mansion for the murder. That's right. She dropped the bridge to make a huge scene just to let everyone know it's no longer there. Right, and everyone saw that pretty much. So, what secret method did she use? How do we explain it? How do we explain what she's done? It won't be that easy to figure out. It's called a secret method for a reason. Can we explain, like, the inner workings of a GM to them? No worries, guys. 
As long as we leave it to Shuichi, everything will be a-okay. Oh, stop. Leave him alone. What? What are you saying? We can't just rely on Shuichi all the time. Thank you. That's what I was saying earlier. This class trial's for all of us. We're here to solve this together. That's right. <laughs> you would just slow down Shuichi. Shut up. If anyone's slowing us down here, it's you. Shut up! With all your mouth words. I don't have time to deal with Kokichi. Right now I need to focus on the case. What do we have, Shuichi? What are we gonna do? I'm positive that Miyu used some kind of special method to get to the mansion. Okay. I just have to figure out what it was. How are we gonna do that? Oh, we're in a debate. Okay. I hope I'm not missing, like, the lies and stuff, but I think I probably have already. What do we have? Oh, look. Wall added by Miyu. Like a hidden bridge, besides that signboard, maybe. Hidden bridge. Or, instead of bridge, Miyu used some kind of vehicle to go over. Like a plane? Or maybe she teleported with magic. Ooh, maybe. Or she used a warp zone. Aw, oh, man. Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. They don't understand. A hidden route that only Mew could use to get across. A hidden route. I suppose it is possible she used that to change places. Oh, a hidden Man, route. you guys are way off. What do you mean? Or maybe I'm just pulling your legs. Oh, don't touch me. It's assault. I think I think what Kibo said is what we want, right? Because we've got the wall added. Now we know. A secret method only Mew knows. She tampered with the program. It's hard to imagine that has nothing to do with it. I'm sure she changed something. That's it. That's gotta Way be it. Across it only you knew about. All right, fine. Like a hidden bridge besides that signboard, maybe. Yep. I'm just looking again or to make sure I didn't miss bridge, anything. You use some kind of vehicle to go over. Oh. Or maybe she teleported with magic. This is a really cool scene. Everyone's got cool a things. Warp zone. <laughs> Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. No one knows. A hidden route that only Mew could use to get across. This is it. Yep. I agree. Yay. Aw, oh, Kivo. I'm happy to agree with you. Break. Okay. That's it, Kivo. There was a hidden route only Mew could use. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. How are we gonna hmm? explain this? Was there really? Oh, he was, he was just talking out of his ass. Well. Mew modified the program to add a special wall to the world. That's right, we found out about that. The wall stretches along the y-axis, but we found two such walls in the virtual world. Mm -hmm. It's unclear whether Those Mew added the, the wall by the mansion or the wall near the chapel. Which would make the, the world loop for her, so she could just take a, a walk to the right and then be on the left of the map automatically. We do know that that wall was set so that only objects could pass Don't through. be naive, Shuichi. Oh, oh my god, Kaito, you scared me! Stop! Mm -hmm. What's wrong, Kaito? What is it, Kaito? You don't believe us? Jeez, can you set up a weird wall like that? That scared the shit out of me, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> oh. That is suspicious, but it's got nothing to do with what we were talking about. What do you mean? It has everything to do. You're an astronaut. You should understand technology. Nothing to do with it. Stop this. Huh. You don't even realize your mistake? What? Are you losing your edge? I'm surprised he's the one that's, uh, that's refuting this. I did not expect this. Oh well, my sidekick's mistakes are my mistakes. What? I'll make it right. What you mean? Oh, he d he probably doesn't know. He probably doesn't know that Miu's avatar was set to object, so how could it happen? Maybe that's what it is? What do we have? Let's look. Okay. Map of the mansion- uh, Miu's avatar is right there. Okay, that's what, what I'm gonna use. Figure out is how Mew got from the chapel to the mid. So why waste time talking about the impossible? It's pointless. Right. Okay. We gotta take a whole new approach here. Whole new approach. Okay, we are advancing this one. wait just a second. It's not actually impossible at all. It isn't because we know. But you just said so, didn't you? I wanna hear that this wall though. Mew set up. The wall. Only lets non-human objects go through it. Right? Humans aren't able to pass through. Oh, I understand, yeah. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just an object after uh, all. Oh, I think I just I think you I just it? cut what I so needed. Let's go through this one more time. It said it, it he just said that she's not just an object and I missed it. God, this one is really tough this time around because I wanna hear them say the thing and not cut them off. But you also want to, God, if you'd not hurry, 
But you just said so, didn't you? Well, anyway. That wall Mew set up. Yep. Only lets non-human objects go through it. Right. Humans aren't able to pass through. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just an ob huh. after all. There we go. I'll cut through your words. She doesn't know. God, sorry, that was weird. Break! That one always gets me. The wall wasn't the only thing that Mew changed. That's right. Maybe you should have said this in the first place, Shuichi. Then it would have been understand. Like, they could have she gotten She also it. changed her avatar settings from human to object. I feel like if you put that all out on the table at the same time, everyone would have gotten what he was saying. From human to object? But then I guess we wouldn't have had a game. So, whatever. Yes. Which means the virtual world treated her avatar as an object. That's right. A GM. She could have passed through a wall that kind of. non-humans could go through. Yeah. Is that right? It is, and Shuichi probably should have said that in the first place. It's his fault. Don't get ahead of yourself, Kaito. We need to listen to everything Shuichi says. Oh, hey, thanks, friend, I think. I already told you. The more you try, the more you cause us trouble. To be fair, you have also caused your share of trouble. It's so totally lame that your own sidekick is dissing you! Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Kokichi, enough! I wasn't arguing with him. I was just explaining- Yeah, yeah, get your hate boner out of here. It's in the way. I don't care. That doesn't bother me at all. Oh, really? Good. It just means even I make mistakes. Don't worry about it, Shuichi. Hey, we all do, friend. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's pretty funny seeing Kaito try to act all tough like this. What, you got, a, you got a boner for him too now? You need to calm that thing down. Kokichi. Please refrain from making such irrelevant and irrational remarks. Thank you. So, if Mew messed with the program and made a wall only she could go through... Right. Then her secret route was through that wall? That's what I think. That's it, right? Like using a glitch in a game to walk outside the map. That's right. I bet Mew had a hidden passage like that in the back of the chapel. At least Smoogie kind of understands. But even if she could walk through walls, was there really a hidden passage? Well, yeah. How else did this happen? Because Mew said... What did she say? No, you're not, like, trapped here. Beyond that wall is, like, the end of the world, literally. Past that wall, like, nothing exists. Everything ends there. Well, yeah, but that was just her saying that. She probably that. lied. There would be no point in going if there was nothing on the other side. Right, she told that to everyone so they wouldn't look around there. Mew lied. Hmm. Seems like. I wonder what the truth is. There's no way to find out now. Well, I mean, we do have the evidence that she changed it. That cum-soaked urinal cake was totally lying about there being nothing past the wall. Okay. She lived a life of pride, vulgarity, and secrets. Lying would be a piece of cake for her. You'd know about all of that, wouldn't you? Kokichi, you know I have to go that far. Also true. Stop it! Don't badmouth mommy! Oh, he remembered. Uh-oh. Monotara! Oh, no. Listen to you talking about mommy like she was a terrible lying whore. Uh-oh, he's gonna get angry. But mommy wasn't lying. There was no hidden route in that virtual world. Really? Huh? Oh, there wasn't, huh? Did he do that just to get him to say something? Hey! You can't tell them such an important hint! Oh, oops. Oh, if you say that hint is important, then I guess it must be oh true. Oh my god, Kokichi needs to be a fucking lawyer or something. Like, get get him in a new Phoenix Wright game. He's like that one. He's like that one prosecutor that you fucking hate. Even more than, like, Von Karma and all those others. Oh, shoot! Well... Ah, jeez. You're lucky you're cute. <laughs> it's a Monokuma. What are you even doing? Forgot you were even here. Was Kokichi saying all that stuff about me to get the cubs to reveal something? I guess I should thank him, but I have no idea why he does things sometimes. Who does? So now that we know there's no hidden route, why did she manipulate the program? Uh, so she could set this all up, I'm assuming. No? If there's actually nothing past the wall, then that setting was meaningless. Well... Mew wouldn't have done something meaningless. She would have had a plan. Yeah, yeah, it's all fairly set up. Yes. Mew definitely wanted to be able to go through that wall for a reason. Okay. We aren't sure why yet, 
But once we solve the mystery of the virtual world... Right. Mystery of virtual world? Oh dear, okay. I'll give you the cliff notes in a minute. There have been a lot of strange occurrences in the virtual world. Yep. If we can determine why, we will also determine what Mew was up to. Okay. We'll know why she wanted to pass through the wall. Okay. All right, let's clear up those strange occurrences. Let's do it. Yeah, Gonta will help, even though Gonta not know what you're talking about. Oh, God, what is wrong with him? Speaking of strange occurrences, I'm just plain worried about that one thing. What one thing is that? Remember? That thing that made us notice all the strange occurrences? What's she talking about? The events that led us there. Oh, maybe the, um, the bang that everybody heard? Oh, I... Oh, I wonder if that's it. Like, almost everybody heard it. Well, over this on our side. Okay, that is it. Right. Yeah, let's start with you that. You mean the loud sound that you and I heard in the kitchen? That's right. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was really loud. <laughs> oh! What? What was that sound? It sounded as if something was struck very hard. It came from outside, but... Hmm? You all heard that sound too? Wait, you guys heard it over at the chapel? How could that have happened? Yes, in the mansion's kitchen. Okay. But that sound occurred near the chapel. How did you hear it all the way at the mansion? Oh, so the sound traveled the whole way? Did they tell First us that off, or did I forget? First sound can't go past the map loading point. Yeah. Did that sound really come from the chapel? Hmm. That sound was something hitting the chapel wall. It was real loud. Okay, so it was like the same sound in both places. And we definitely heard it. We heard Kibo's voice as well. Did Miu like break the fabric of her little thing there and, and, and bring down the wall that prevented them from hearing each other? For now, let's go outside and check. Oh no! What? That was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. He sounded close. Right. You heard my voice too? That's right. What? That is pretty strange. What does it mean? Exactly. That has to be some kind of clue to the mystery of the virtual world. Okay. Okay. Well, let's check the answers later and try to find all the other clues first. Okay. There was another mysterious phenomenon in the virtual world, wasn't there? Was there? Kokichi talked like he noticed something, pretending not to know. What was the other one? Even Gonta is suspicious of me? Oh no. I always thought you would be the one to trust me. Oh, shut up. You're so mean to him. Sorry. Gonta not mean to Oh my god, like do not apologize to him. There's no need to apologize to him. He's probably just lying again. <laughs> well, you know. What was the other strange occurrence? <gasps> oh. You see it, Shuichi? I wonder if he's talking about the bridge. Another mysterious phenomenon. Something that shouldn't be possible, like Miu in the mansion, or the loud noise. I need to remember everything else that happened in there. This guy be talking about the... Oh, this is mine, mine now. Oh, oh, okay. Let's do. And I'm gonna do it by just clicking everything, though. that's right. Let's open up a couple of, like, spaces over here as well, so we can just kind of get... There it is, I think, because remember when we saw it... Oh, I gotta get rid of this, do I? That's fine. Is that enough to get it? No. Is that enough to get it? Hello? Uh... Oh, do I actually have to... Do I have to unearth the whole thing? Still? Oh my god. Why am I so bad at this? Ridiculous. Really? Just if it's touching it at all? I just have to clear the whole thing. That's what it was. Come on, if it's just on the corners, it should not matter. That's ridiculous. Anyway, bring me back to Psych Taxi. Complete, so I can talk about Knight Rider some more. The sign that we were using as a bridge was odd to me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is how they're gonna figure it out, I bet you. This is how they're gonna figure out that the world loops. Maybe it looped the entire time. And maybe she just told everybody it didn't. I just, ca I just came up with that. If the world looped all the time and she didn't need to go back and forth in a special way to make it loop, 
then they would have hurt each other, because technically that means the buildings were very close. Odd how? Oh boy, I bet you that's we it. We mentioned it before, but Mew dropped the sign in the river. Right, and we saw it come back in a weird part of the river. Right, we already saw this. We found it later, but there was something unnatural about it. That's right. Oh, I, oh, I bet you that's it, though. Here we go, then. Finding the sign was definitely weird. I'm most confused by how the sign got there. I should remember exactly what happened with the sign. All right, here we go. What do you mean? Oh, oh Pog! Y'all, it is psych taxi time. Come on, Kit. We have a mission by Devin and Bonnie. We have to go find a sign that's been terrorizing people in this, like, broken down town of California, which is where these things seem to happen because they're based out of California. The Knight Foundation, that is. Kit's gonna be like, Michael, are we actually going after a sign? At which point was the signboard swept away? At which point? Uh, I do actually have to think. I didn't think that was the question I was going to get. Where did it go? What? River Mansion? Ch oh no, it went down the river first. <clears throat> oh god, I've got to think about the map. Okay, hit the middle prostitute kit. Good. Hit the turbo boost. And then later we can hit the eject button and like make them all go flying. That that'll be great. All right, next question. Oh, they're moving now. Look at that. That's fun. I missed a whole bunch of them because of it. Look at Dave. Not the best driver. Hey, Kit, can you take over so I can actually get these? Put it on auto drive. Hell yeah. Where is the end of the river? Where's the... Okay, think about the map. Think about how it flew. <clears throat> how the river flowed. It went from the river down around to the right, didn't it? Which would mean it was by the... Yeah, okay, by the chapel. I'm pretty sure that's where it was. Hey, girl. Turbo boost. <laughs> And then Michael Knight, even though he's done the turbo boost like five million times, he always goes, Woo! And he always like screams like yeehaw kind of shit every time it happens. And I'm like, bro, you've done the turbo boost and like every episode it happens. It's like surely you've got to be used to it by now. Like it's not that big of a deal. Right? God, and now, now this is, this is the end of this. Like every time I play this now, I'm going to be reminded of Knight Rider. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing anymore. Oops, I just missed all those. My fault. It's alright, we got them all here. Where was the signboard found after it swept away? Okay, so it went around to the right and then it came out from the left. We found it under the mansion, right? I believe that's where it was found. That's where it made us start questioning. Yeah, yeah, okay, the mansion side. Okay, hit it. Burp. Oh, shit! <laughs> good! Ah, oh, three hookers. Kit, take over. All right. Wait, there's another question. I've got three ladies. What am I supposed to do? I can't fit anybody else in here. Okay, sorry, ladies. We're going to have to eject one of you. All right. E eject R. Oh, man. Compared to the river's current, which way did the signboard float? Wait, compared to the river's current? What do you mean? I'm gonna... What's the answers? Oh, no, against the current, for sure. I didn't know... I thought that maybe, like, meant, like, left to right or right to left. Oh, shit! The kid's real full now. He's like, Jesus, Michael, these bitches are heavy. <laughs> oh, we did it! Oh, we did it with the power of Knight Rider! Complete! Hell yeah! It appeared as though the sign was carried against the river's current. That's right, that's right. Right. This is what we made us think. We all saw Mew drop the sign and watched the river carry it downstream. Okay, and if everything she said was correct, it should have stopped right there. And the river was wide there. Mm-hmm. The sign should have traveled downriver toward the chapel, correct? Yep. And it did, technically. It should have hit the wall on the far side of the chapel and stopped there. Yep. But that's not where we found it. That's right. It went through. We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. Yep. Which made us think everything. The signboard should have been near the chapel, 
But we found it on the other side. Yep. Hold up. Didn't you stay on the chapel side? Well, we thought she did. She probably grabbed the signboard from the chapel wall to cross the river. Okay. Then left it on the boulders near the mansion so she could get back. I don't think she needed to do that, though. Why would she leave the signboard where it could get swept away and leave her stranded? That's right. Also, this has nothing to do with walking through the wall, right? That's also kind We're of true. We're getting off topic. Well, I mean, it kind of it kind of is important if we have to explain, like, that the world's looped. We're so close to the truth. We just have to connect the how and what. Ugh, he already knows. He already All knows. All the mysterious things that happened have to connect with each other somehow. He wants to connect it by saying that the world is a looping world, I bet. Connect how? Well, here, let's explain that. A wall only objects can pass through. Sounds that shouldn't be How heard. can they not understand this concept? I'm having a little bit of trouble that they, they really can't understand this. A signboard going against the river current. How are they all connected? Surely some of these kids must have played an MMO at some point. <laughs> I don't know. But Shuichi should know, right? You probably do know, though. What? You probably do. We would be in a lot of trouble if you didn't. Oh, here we go. The only one who can solve this mystery and save us all is you. Oh, great. Don't, don't say anything. You're going to spark another argument, but I know. So, how are they connected? Do you know Shuichi? I think we do. Ah, well, what we know so far is that... Mm -hmm. The unnatural way the sign was carried is possibly related to the wall. Yep. Oh, wait, oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. the wall. What do they want me to do here? Uh, oh, the wall added by Miyu. This is it! Okay. I was a little bit taken aback there. It I didn't expect have to, to get do that. With the wall that only objects can pass through. Right. There it goes. Wee! <laughs> Look at him go. The sign should have stopped at the wall on the other side of the chapel. But it was an object, so it could pass through. But if that wall happened to be the one that you set to allow objects through, right? I see. It's a wall only non-humans can pass through. Yeah, yeah. And there it that goes. Means the signboard can pass through the wall, right? Yeah, and it'll end up on the Even other side. Even if it could pass through the chapel wall, how did it end up by the mansion? They don't get it. They don't get what a looping world is. The only way it could do that is if the wall was a warp zone. <laughs> but it's not, right? No, it's technically the same thing. How do you explain that to them, though? That's the thing. That's right. That's the real issue here. Also, can we talk about this music right now? Have we heard this this particular music before and I just haven't noticed it? This is crazy. It's good. How could the signboard pass through the wall but end up on the mansion side? What would explain it? Leave it to me, Shuichi. What? Stop! I, your partner. No. Will give you hints in times of trouble. Sir, your voice just interrupted the smooth jazz I was listening to. What? This is the virtual world. We should throw away all of our common sense, okay? I, yes. Don't look at me. I already know. The hell does that even mean? Let's explain it to them if you need to. Kokichi might be onto something there. We need to forget about what we know and just think about it. How did the signboard pass through the wall downstream and end up upstream? Putting common sense aside and focusing on the flow of the river... How did the signboard pass through the wall? Downstream and upstream connect, of course. That's it! But are they gonna understand that part of it? Or do we have to go on? What if both ends of the river were connected? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Both ends of river connected? I will explain this, hopefully. Oh, how many times are we gonna... Woo. Exactly. To put it another way, the river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. Right. It's all part of one big loop. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. Yeah, yeah. See, loop, guys. Do you understand? What? What are you talking oh, about? Psh, Both they ends don't. of the river can't. No, this is probably one of the most frustrating things because it seems like such an obvious thing. Again, throw out all common sense from your head. We're talking about the virtual world. Yeah, yeah. I, you're right about this part. Kokichi understands. 
Then what about the wall? There was only one wall that could be passed through. Yeah, but it's the same wall, isn't it? Right. I mean, we know that. Even if the river's connected, and it goes through the chapel wall... Yeah. It wouldn't have been able to go through the mansion wall, too. They don't understand that it's the same wall. When you're talking about a looped area, it's just one. There's not actually two. Wait, in that case... I got it! I know why Mew only set up one wall. It's the same. There's only one. You only what need you one. Talking about now? In a looping world, you only need one entrance and exit because it's infinite. It goes around. The reason she only set up one wall is because the chapel and the mansion walls. Oh. They're the same. That's it. Okay, maybe they'll understand this. I hope so. The walls by the chapel and the mansion aren't separate. They're the same wall. Right, right. Do you guys understand? The same wall? Yeah, oh, Kibo, you of all people should understand this. It's not just the river. The walls themselves are connected. Yeah, yeah. Don't think of it as two separate walls, but a single wall parallel to the y-axis. Think of it like on a globe, and then you'll have it. That single wall divides the entire virtual world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never get tired of watching the signboard go down. The idea is, you pass through the wall by the chapel and come out by the mansion. Right. <laughs> Everything is starting to connect. Literally, though, literally what he said, connecting, it all connects. Is that what you mean? See, You're so clever, you? Checkers. Everything is connected. Oh, well, Damn good it, for Kokichi. you. Just tell us. Kaito, you just it's did. Okay. More importantly, this is the final stretch. Wait, is it? No, we've got a lot more to go. If both the river and wall are connected, then you can find the secret. Okay. Shuichi, you already know the secret behind the I think I do, world. if it's what we're right. talking about, is that it's a looping world. The secret, huh? Yes, I suppose we should clear that up. We need to solve the mystery of the virtual world. How are we gonna do that? More psych taxi, I hope. No, oh no. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Okay, what do we have? Uh, hello? I see a lot of stuff. Do I need stuff? W, W, war, is it world? Is it world loop? Or loops, because there's too many. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Yep, well, world is definitely the first. Um. I tried to look this time to make it not take so much time. Uh, is there a P anywhere? <laughs> world Loo! The world's biggest toilet. I didn't see it. Do we not have... Hello? We just don't have one, do we? Nope. For some reason I thought that was one. Hello? He hello? I, I, I do need a P in here somewhere. I'm not crazy and it just hasn't, it's just gone by me. Oh, there it is, it's backwards. Boy, that's gonna be hard for someone that's like dyslexic. What the hell? S? There we go. Okay, that one wasn't hard. The world loops, you guys, complete. Do you understand what I'm, ta what I'm saying yes, to you? Yes, that's it. The virtual world is a loop. Come on, we could've, we could've explained that earlier, right? No, just Ooh. me. Just like in old games, right? Thank you. Like, for example, what I'm saying. When a character goes off the left side of the screen and reappears on the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. The edges of the virtual world are linked together in a continuous loop. Bless Samugi for actually knowing what that meant. If Chiaki was here, she would have the known. Virtual world. Oops. That's right. What in the world? It's okay. I'll explain it to you when you're older. If that's true, it would explain the way the signboard was swept away. But, you guys, but, it also would explain why we hurt everybody. Look, it's it very close together. It into the wall downstream of the river, came out of that same wall upstream. Yep. Oh, we get to watch it again. How many times is this? Like, eighth time? <laughs> Has anyone counted? Oh my god. 
and floated with the currents until it got caught on the rocks. That's right. What was the world like before Mew added the wall? That I'm not sure about. Actually, there wasn't a wall on the Y axis at all. And the X axis was set to loop. I guess it was just, yeah, just like we're seeing with just a basic loop without the wall in the middle. Are you serious? Even if it is a computer program, isn't that too crazy? No. Mew's a little bit weird. A looping world. That's more extraordinary than even magic. Oh my god, I'm flabbergasted that none of these kids know what this means. It's like they're looking at fire for the first time or something. But at least it's not a boring answer. It also explains all the things that happened. Well... Huh? It doesn't explain everything, does it? What are... what... What, what do we need? What are we, what are we missing? Because we still don't know why we heard that one sound or Kibo's voice. What do you mean? Yes, we do. I thought it made it pretty obvious, no? Yeah, sound doesn't go past the map loading point. No, 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 you gotta think of the other way, not the loading points in the middle. What about the other side? Actually, if we know that the world is a loop, we can explain that as well. Okay, Shuichi, good job. Go for it. Huh? Really? Yeah, yeah. Yes. But first, we need to be clear where the loop starts. Ah, I see. Okay. Where the loop starts. Think about that. Doesn't it loop at the walls next to the mansion and chapel? That's what I thought. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute now. Not necessarily. If we heard a noise at the chapel from inside the mansion, then the loop... Oh my god. Maybe the loop's in the middle. Oh my... It's in the middle, isn't it? There! Okay, I didn't think of that. The map loading point was where the virtual world looped. There you go. That still would have made sense. We thought the loading point was in the middle of the map. Right? Bros, look though. But the loading point was actually at the edges. So now it makes sense. So the wall Mew created wasn't at the edges of the world, but rather... Yep. Her wall was at the center of the world. There you go. I see. And then look how so close the they are. the mansion and the chapel were near each other, with a wall between them. That's right. And any sounds emitted near the chapel would also reach the mansion. Yep. The wall only allows non-humans to pass through, so sound should be able to pass through easily. Also, this makes sense, because if you look at it, look, even even the walkways are, are are matched up now. So this is probably what the world looked like before. And she split it up the other way. That would have made sense, because I was wondering why they were so far apart from each other. That's it just right. looked weird. That's how the virtual world works. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Don't scare me. Impressive, Shuichi. Jesus Christ. Checkers is in my nightmares. I'm telling you what. For you to get this far! Yes! Yes! You are useful indeed! My gosh, would you please... Just keep it in your pants, dude! For you to get this far... What are you, some villain pulling the strings? <laughs> nope. Mew pulled the strings here, not me. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Mew also set this trap. We know. It all began when Mew showed us the map. Yep. Because of the map, we mistakenly thought the loading point was at the center. That's right, she set it up that way. Which in turn made the mansion and chapel seem farther away from each other. Mm-hmm. But the structure of the world wasn't actually like that. That's right. Well, this makes more sense. There was a wall along the y-axis, and the x-axis came around in a loop. By putting that wall in the center of that world, she cut off the loop. That's right. So ever since Mew showed us that map, we were caught in her trap. Okay. But we solved this mystery thanks to Shuichi. Oh my good. All hail our savior! Great. Just what I need. Yeah. If Shuichi wasn't here, then we never would have solved this mystery. I don't like this. I don't like how everyone's doing this to him. That's right. Good work, Shuichi. I don't like it. Thanks, Shuichi. You saved us! Oh my god. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Shoot, you just try not to let it get to you. <laughs> yeah, Kaito, I'm, the, I'm with you. Just because we found out the virtual world's secret doesn't mean we can take it easy yet. Right. Actually, this culprit hunt just got to the exciting part. What do you mean? 
Even if we know all the tricks, it's pretty meaningless if we don't find the culprit. Okay, yeah, I agree. That's how a class trial works, after all! Oh my god, that's how a class trial works! Kokichi talking like Monokuma again. Yeah, yeah. No matter what you say, I'm not gonna believe your lies! Then just ignore him and we'll go I'm on. I'm gonna believe in everyone! That's how I'm gonna reach the truth! Alright. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next! Oh my goodness. Shuichi, me too, friend. Me too. What's Kokichi's plan here? He's definitely prodding at Kaito on purpose. Well, there's no time for distractions like him. What we have to do is find the culprit who killed Miyu. It doesn't matter how many little mysteries we solve if we can't find the culprit. I agree. I hope you guys aren't too angry with me, but... I think I might actually stop it here, if that's okay. I find myself getting a little bit breathless, so um, I'm not gonna push it. I know this may be the first trial we have that actually takes four episodes, but if be that as it may, even if it has to, I just want to make sure I give you the best content I possibly can with the best commentary. So thank you so, so much for watching, you guys. I love you so, so much. Thanks for understanding. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Toodaloo.